nonetheless, let's get into it. Lucario, Diddy Kong. And we all know what the deal is. Lucario, just don't get, don't kill him again. If you kill him, you should die. Oh. Why? Because Aura works. Aura works. Now, D DD's uh, Lucario, his wave bounces are really nice. B reverses, wave bounces, he has all of that. Shield cancels into uh, Aura's favorite. He has all of that. And but you need that all of that in order to even stand a chance against Diddy Kong in this matchup because your aerials are not that good. Diddy very, I mean, Diddy. Diddy very good in, like, the mid-range. He knows at, where to stand at this range where, like, you're, you're tempted to like just go in at him and he'll like go in at you with like Lucario's ridiculous dash grab. Or like when he's in the air. He'll... Yeah, that dash grab is really nice. And with a character like Lu Lucario, he can be reverse and like kind of bait you out with things like that. It's dangerous. Because not only can he bait you out and punish you, but you can die because of those things. So nonetheless, 97% uh, sin on uh, BB right now, but damage is, um, all, any damage is good damage for Lucario. As long as he's not dead, he's in it. Uh, he tried to get the uh, the throw animation out before the banana gate hit him, but it wasn't fast enough. That throw does have a hitbox, but... Yeah, not quick enough. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, very good for BB. It looked like Dill did not input the kick fast enough, so he just got trapped into the uh, in early charge. Now, although Lucario doesn't have uh, much aura, he still has rage. Rage is still a kick. Oh, but there he goes. That. Wow. Dill with the celebratory bananas. That Banana barrels, oh my god. I'm surprised that didn't hit. I'm guessing the hitbox on that, uh, on the upbeat is behind Lucario. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, because that didn't trade or anything. He just got caught, snatched. Nice reaction. Did he gonna get out of that with fair? Uh, BB doing a good job though, although he got hit, able to keep stage control. She still doing a really good job of punishing these jumps. As soon as BB got into the air, he immediately took stage control and kept him in the air. Oh, it's BB's turn now. Here we go. Okay. Giving Dill time to play. Monkey flip and a catch him. Dude, I don't know what that force palm was. Probably yeah, meant to be reverse or spear. Okay. Ooh, same. Okay, I was gonna say that was looking like. Oh no. Was that on purpose? I mean, it could have oh, been. That's but probably like, what he yeah. wanted. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, this is scary. Smart use of the aura sphere to cancel banana. This is very scary. You can see, Dill doesn't want to get hit with anything. Uh, one disadvantage could be his stop. Nice job. Scary. Still off stage, gonna pluck a banana trying to get back, put a hitbox out there. I like it. Okay, we doing a, uh, doing a good job of keeping him on top of him, but kind of shooting, um, swinging for the fences with that up smash. He has a he has a good feel of where Dill is gonna be, and he's throwing out all these like big hitboxes at him. Yeah, because Dill's always like a few frames like safe enough to shield. He's doing a lot of shield damage, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but even if he's not breaking the shield, he's making... Oh, uh, that might have been an up smash. Uh, but he's making Dill scared enough not to sit in shield. And the fear is enough to do it. Up to almost... Oh, no. Oh, that's oh forward good. throw. That's nasty. Go long. On the platform. Every time, every time I see Diddy do that forward throw, I think of the Brett Favre commercial. He throws a nice spiral, man. Yo, absolutely. Oh, but I'm clicking. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the Brett Favre commercial? I have no idea what that is. Is it on Twitch recently? The People like complaining about how there's uh, this football commercial on Twitch now. Football, I mean, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of different types of people watching Twitch now. So many. Oh, apparently some of them like football. And hockey. But here we go. We got... um. <laughs> We got FD, BB taking him to FD, okay. Anytime you see somebody take Diddy Kong to FD, it's because they want to catch Diddy's landings. They understand, okay, this Diddy Kong monkey flips a lot. They go high a lot, 
So I'm not going to give you any platforms to try and uh, save me. Right. You're going to have to come down to me. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this thing. I like it. Nice. Although that combo was a cheap, you'd be able to uh, connect it to keep uh, dealing it. You're not rolling in. Now you see BB playing the beginning of this match a lot like he played the end of the last match. He's very, playing very safe, uh, charging a lot of ore spheres, uh, tra just trying to get shield damage. Maybe uh, a couple ore spheres like that to rack up some damage. See if he could get in uh, Dill's head to secure this stock early. Good job by BB, that pivot grab to catch him, put him off stage. Okay, how do you get back on? I'm oh, just gonna jump. <laughs> BB wasn't in place to punish him for jumping just now. So, Bill got a free beat back to the stage. <laughs> Forward throw. <laughs> uh, tries to cover the edge with the banana. Yeah, the first recovery, a little hard to time. Yeah. Say so you gotta get it on startup. Don't want, you don't really want to contest it unless it's on startup. Okay. Here we go. Okay. It seemed like VB had a couple of opportunities. Oh, now up there gonna do it. Seemed like VB had a couple of opportunities to uh, to punish there, but he was kind of extra patient on those pulls. Good reaction from Dill. Ah, oh, the, the banana truck in yes. his be frustrating. Absolutely. Uh, they're making it very hard for VB to get in, and uh, the banana is not making it any easier. Force Palm not going to do it. But he's going to give him full stage control. VB not able to react to the roll, though. Back air. Take all of this. 45% okay. on uh, VB right now. Oh. And then opting to just throw it. Still sitting on that platform. I remember him mentioning once to me that Vivi is one of the few players he would actively try to time out. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame him, man. You saw Wraith uh, earlier trying to time out his uh, Lucario. After yeah. Luc Wraith takes the first stop, he's not fighting Lucario anymore. <laughs> Lucario is a scary thing. Fair enough. Okay, grab combos. He's trying to make it down to the stage. Down to the... Um, Oh, Back banana down. coming roll. Get the roll wall. That would probably be the worst option for that situation. Recover high, okay. Nice. And that was difficult. He was under the stage, but he was still able to get the um, reduced lag on his upbeat. You could tell he really understands this game. Ooh, very good for BB. Throwing, he, he put the banana down. He uh, charged the lower sphere and it's like, okay, where are you going? Up. That was cool. He covered, like you said, he covered all the ground with options. He understood, listen, the only option is to jump. Right, and most, like, people expect Lucario to please go cancel his aura sphere jump. Mm -hmm. He'll um, back air you, but no, he went up air. Yeah, which is still a very strong yeah. move, so. Very strong, but, like, not used as often. So good call out from him. Yeah. I like it. I love watching Vivi's Lucario, man. Whenever he's, like, uh, he's a little younger, so he gets a little tilted. But uh, when he's focused, man, Lucario looks very good. Okay, Dill just gonna take his time here. I don't blame. I don't blame him. Yeah, you, know, you can tell he, he worked very hard for that match. Um, but like we said, as long as Lucario's alive, he's always in the game. So you saw VV kind of just walk him down. He was losing for a majority of that match, but he just walked him down, walked him down till the end. Put him in one situation where I think he was gonna kill. And he took it. I didn't even see where they went. Smashville? Uh you need town. Three, town. Two, okay. One, go! Okay, yeah, and I, and I think this uh this match is gonna be very good to have you see yeah. charge a lot of or uh or series. Yeah, I already see Dill. Throw out a lot of peanuts, much more than like we were doing the first few games. Kind of just coming out the gate with peanuts. But I mean, this game is more offensive than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. They're actually uh, swinging. Okay, here we go. 
uh, keep the option. Um, he had a lot of stage control just now. Kind of committed to that grab. Um, I do love his usage of Aura Spirit Cancel Banana. Yeah, definitely. If you can get that banana off the stage, do it. And if you get it from off the stage, from the from the other side of the stage, that's even better. Yeah. You go to where is from him knowing how much charge is necessary for it to cancel. Nice. Very still. Nice. making good use of the platform to fight his way out of the corner. Yeah. Now, although Dill is in the lead, he understands. Uh, he's adapting to how Lucario works. And he knows, listen, uh, I just can't run at you with my forehead <laughs> anymore. I'm going to have to play the entire game. Because you saw when Dill got the lead the last two matches, he kind of let his foot off the gas. He took a couple more risks. I don't think he's going to do that this game. Nice. That was very scary. He put out a lot of hit. He put out a lot of hitboxes just now. Not where Dill was, but where he could have been if he tried a, de a defensive option or a panic option. Right. But uh, Dill kind of stayed, uh, stayed uh, focused, stayed grounded. Right. Or is he a really good tool for doing that? Like you're gonna go take it, or you're gonna try to jump over it. And he's like, you know, he's ready to just like hold it, scare you into doing something. Yeah. Oh, but not uh, gonna catch it. Not too many characters can uh, catch the uh, was up like that. Especially when the aura is that high. It moves pretty fast, man. Ah, uh, sitting in shield. Just gonna whittle that shield down. Didn't really have anything that could work. Uh, to connect after that. Now, the, the movement from Dill, uh, from Deep is really good, but you see Dill, he's just a step ahead every time. Yeah, and like, he's also not at the, I mean, maybe he is now, but he, he wasn't at the um, aura for that movement to net him a kill, the way he does the reverses. Okay. Now, you see Vivi adapting to these, uh, to these monkey flips, but Dill is doing them high enough that he still has an option before he hits the ground. Yeah. So he'll do the monkey flip really high, and if he sees me, he kind of cover it. He'll jump. A little late on the up smash. Okay. That was that. Oh, that sound! So scary, man. I. Man, that's a Speaking of scary. That's the second time that happened. Uh, Luffy covered the entire edge of the stage with Aura Sphere, and he's just a little bit too close to the edge where when he released the Aura Sphere, it didn't cast a roll, and Dill was able to roll behind him. Mm -hmm. Diddy's roll, man, it works different.